I want to show you some tips that are going to help out in many areas of working with Photoshop and even Adobe Acrobat. Um, what I'm looking at right now is Adobe Bridge. I've got um, Chapter 7 of the Photoshop book open. It's got Kelby CS6 and we're looking at some of the files. If I click on the finishing JPEG down here under metadata, um, I've modified my desktop a little bit. I'm looking at the essentials view. Uh, but down here at the bottom under metadata tag, it shows me the size of the photo that I have selected. 976 kilobytes, which is just under a megabyte. If I click on the high pass JPEG, that shows me that this image is 506 kilobytes. That's, you know, a pretty reasonable small size. If I click on the single image.dng, notice that it's 9.48 megabytes. It's pretty large. And if I open my blended HDR DNG images, notice that all of these are, this is 11 megabytes, 9 megabytes, 10 megabytes. These are all really large files. Um, so this is going to be really difficult to uh, put together in a contact sheet and actually turn in. So what I'm going to show you how to do is save for web and these images will become very small. So what I do is I select all, Command A or Control A, and I'm going to right click and choose Open With and I'll choose Adobe Photoshop. Now I had the application open so this speeded things up a little bit. Notice that it opens in Camera Raw. Because it's a DNG file, it's going to open automatically in Camera Raw. And one photo, one image is selected. If I do a Command A, it selects all. And down here on the bottom right, instead of saying Open Image, now it says Open Images. So I click on that, and all of these images will open up in Adobe Photoshop. Being that they're very large, it does take a couple minutes of time. So what I'll do is I'll go through these images that when they finally come up, we'll do a save for web. We'll resize it to 25% and we'll keep the name the same and we'll put it in a folder I've already created called Portfolio. And that way all of the images will be able to be easily created in a contact sheet. Uh, and I'll do this because right now, currently, they're all in separate folders. All right, they are opened up on the screen. I'll go ahead and drag my Photoshop up so we can see everything clearly. Under the File menu, we have Save for Web. This is also your Hand Crunch S if you're into keyboard shortcuts. So this comes up with a 4-up. You actually have um, different choices here. Original, optimized, 2-up, and 4-up. And when this comes up in 4-up, what you can do is move around in the image so that you can actually see some detail. Here we're starting to find detail. Usually it will come up right away. But uh, depending on your image, sometimes you end up with simple whiteness. If you take a look at the 4-up, down here it shows the original DNG file. It shows it as 34.5 megabytes. Um, and then we see the different versions here. This is converted to a JPEG. It's 30 quality, which means up here there are presets for the different qualities here that we're looking at. There's GIF, JPEG, and PNG. What I want to do right now is just simply save it as a JPEG medium for the contact sheet. The reason we aren't even considering any of these other choices nor discussing them right now is because the only thing we're going to be doing with these images is simply viewing on screen 
the variation in difference of the details. So we've chosen JPEG medium. We have a choice over here on quality. We could set this to anything. Kind of a standard preset is 30. If you take a look at um, the four images here, this one again is original. This one is 30 quality JPEG and it's 754 kilobytes. Down here, this is 15 quality, it's 490 kilobytes. And down here on the right, it's 419 kilobytes and it's 7 quality. So what you do with these four choices is you select the best detail for the smallest size. And in this case, you know, I'm going to stick with the JPEG 30. That is what's selected right now. You can see the outline. I'm going to do one more thing because I'm printing these pictures only on a contact sheet. They're going to be pretty small. So the image size is not important here. This is 4,256 4, pixels by 2832. It's a pretty large image if we converted this to inches. What I'm going to do here is change the percent to 25. And when I click out of that field and save it, it would convert the size to a much smaller image. This takes a few seconds. When it does the final conversion, and when you click on Save, Oops, there it showed, finally done. Now it's down to 80 kilobytes, 80 kilobytes, 49 and 42. So when I clicked on save down here, what it does is it brings up a window. Now it's saving optimized as, and that's, you know, the smallest image there. I'm saving it into my portfolio week six which is in my chapter 7 copy folder that I duplicated. So I want to save it here. So this image is done. Uh, you can see that all five images that I opened are all open on top. I've completed the fifth photo. For now I'm just going to click through the images, go up to File, Save for Web. This is already selected. I'm going to change the percent to 25, save, it's in my portfolio, I'll click on save, and go to the next image, mash my fat fist S, change this to 25%, and click on save, save, go to the next image, mash my fist S, 25%, save, save, and go to my first image, mash my fist S, twenty five per cent, save, save, and now I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and go up and choose close all apply to all, don't save. That way I've always got my original images. I'm going to go back to bridge and here I am. Um, again we have this path across the top where I'm actually saving all these files. Now I've done this with all of the other photos in the folder and so you can see that um, 
Here's the blended, here's the down dirty, here's the ghosting, all of that. What I don't have in here are these single images nor the images that I would have um, revised already. So I'm going to hold down the command key and select these three. I'm going to hold down the option key and drag these into the portfolio week six. And what that does is it makes a copy of these images, places them in this folder, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the, the contact sheet. To do that, I'm going to select all of my images. I'm going to choose Output. And in just a moment, my output here will show up with all of my images selected. Um, I'm going to make sure that PDF is selected and I'm probably going to customize the document settings. Right now it's showing um, basically two across, three down. I've got five images. I don't need anything this large, so I'm going to customize the uh, contact sheet for this printout. I'm going to go down to the columns. I'm going to choose five columns. I'm going to choose three rows high and I'm going to change it to the landscape view and then click on refresh preview. Now if I had uh, you know if I had my copy I would maybe choose six rows but uh, I think this is good for now and I I would sort these in a different manner as well so it didn't split up my finishing. My point is you can do this in, in a lot of different ways um, to view your different images. What I'm going to do at this time is go ahead and click on Save. And this is going to create my week six. You can name this again whatever you want. And H. And I want to save it in my portfolio week six, week six folder. And I'll click on save. It automatically opens Acrobat and it shows me my contact sheet. One, page one, and page two. This is not organized the way I'd like it because I added those single images. Um, again, different ways you could do this. You might, you might want to have just selected the images that were in the folder so that they didn't get uh, split up by the others. One of the folders does only have three images so uh, that might change things as well but I'm looking at my contact sheet now this contact sheet is going to be much smaller because I've revised the size of my images however the one last thing that I want to show you in this video is that you can save as different versions of uh, PDF if you have Acrobat Pro now the the version of Acrobat that I have here is Acrobat X. Uh, you may have Acrobat 9, you may have Acrobat 11, uh, you may have different versions, but what I have right now is Acrobat X. And I believe if you have Acrobat Reader you can't do this, but uh, what I'm going to do is choose Save As and I'm going to do two different versions. I'm going to uh, reduce the size of this PDF and then next I'll show you optimized PDF. So re reduced size, um, Acrobat 8 and later is fine. When it comes up I'm going to just click in here and choose RED for reduced save it into the same folder oh. 
Notice that this version, it changed to week six RED. So this is the file I just reduced. If I go back under the file menu and choose open recent, I'm going to choose the original week six so that I get just a correct version here. I'm going to choose the save as and choose optimized PDF. While I'm here, because I'm not going to go, come, I'm not going to come right back here. But notice that you can also save as, meaning save your PDF as a Microsoft Word document, a spreadsheet, or even more options. Which actually you can also, if you have Acrobat 11, you can save your contact sheet as a PowerPoint presentation. So what I want to do here is just simply, you know, optimize this PDF. So I'll save it as the optimized PDF. And I won't change any of these settings here. I'll click on OK. And here I will choose OPT for optimized and click on Save. Now let's go to the desktop. In the finder and what I've got here is my chapter 7 copy I have all of the original files in the folder which are anywhere from 10 to 20 megabytes in size I'm going to go ahead and close this folder and I could close all of those I'll go ahead and open my portfolio week 6 and notice that all of these images are less than uh, well, are very small in size. And here are the three um, contact sheets that I created. Um, the optimized version is 5.4 megabytes. Week 6 is 5.4 megabytes. So both of those are the same. The optimized on top would reduce if I made different image choices. Um, but the reduced PDF version is now 326 kilobytes. So this is a really small file. So I've, I've reduced by choosing Save to Web on all of these images. It's a really good thing to know um, for any of your Photoshop images that you want to share that are very large. If you're viewing them on the screen, they're going to look almost exactly the same in the large file format as they do in this reduced file format. Um, so the second thing that I showed you was how to open Acrobat and save as a reduced PDF and you can see that that is quite a bit smaller so you can upload that. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped.